Hey guys, in today's Minecraft video, I'm going to be showing you basically just a few things on a three. Some cool things that you can do in your Minecraft world. So, yeah, first up is that, which is actually a zipline, believe it or not. It's pretty simple to make, although it only worked on Bedrock Edition. So unfortunately for Java players, it won't work. But a few others will work in Java Edition. So you walk in here and basically it's like a little house. But what we're doing is playing around with the water swimming animation. So yeah, you basically go swimming and then you have a sign here to stop it. And then you swim onto ladder I mean not ladders um fences of any any type of fences and it's kind of like a zip line and as you can see in the top left corner I am swimming I'm completely fine I'm literally swimming over a ravine right now and okay we're done and yeah if you think I'm flying in creative mode or something I am not and I will prove it to you by going into survival mode and then I have full trust in this I am not going to fall down so yeah as you can see I am 100% in survival mode and I just dropped to show you I do take damage there's no god mode or anything enabled but yeah that's the first one which is a zipline so we're going to go back to creative for the next one because it requires command blocks and it's right over here. So what you're going to want to do is this will make a grappling hook basically and it works on Java and Bedrock Edition. So first what you want to do is have something set up like this. In the first command block you're just going to test for a fishing hook. So just type in this command, just pause the video and then you'll see all the commands so yeah that's the first command then followed by a comparator then a repeater then we have this command and that'll just teleport you to the fishing hook so now we are going to flick that on and we have our grappling hook here and you can obviously mute chat if you don't want all that spam but yeah you can easily just yeah throw your grappling hook and then the last one is also for all versions of minecraft and this is probably the most helpful not many people know about this but okay let me turn that um let me turn that command those command blocks off because it's lagging my whole game and it's probably going to start spamming the chat okay yeah so we're going to turn it off just for now and now the fishing hook is completely normal, the fishing rod. Now the next is called a structured block and the only way to get this is through commands using the slash give command. And then there's also something called a structure void right here, which we don't really need to worry about. It's not necessary, but say you find an awesome looking villager house and it looks awesome so you really want to copy it or let's say you find a bell right here and you want to copy it no problem just grab a structure block and actually maybe maybe stack it put it up one so yeah there you have it we're just gonna break that okay so now we're gonna see this, we're gonna make it, let's say three. So X is the red line as shown, right, as shown by the color code. And the X will make it four. Okay, so now it's like that. Why we, I mean, no, it, Z, we need three. Right there. And then what else we need is 
Well, that's it. You can also make the Y as tall as you want. But that's it. And we're going to call this structure Bell. And then we're going to press save right there. And it says structure saved. Now we can go somewhere else where we'd like to have the bell. So right here, for example. But say there was actually a bit of grass right there that was copied into the build and it's in the corner of all three white lines. Now I don't want that to be put in. And that's why I use the structure void. Oh wait, sorry guys, I'm just gonna need a bring this structure block up one so now we get introduced to the structure void and you just place it anywhere it's just like a barrier block but you can literally walk through it even when you're holding the item it's a bit weird and yeah we're just gonna destroy that so now what we do is we go to the structure name and we type in bell now instead we go to load mode and then we press load. Now we're all done and we can destroy that. And we just brought the bell over here. Oh wait, okay I messed up because I put it in the wrong place. But if we had put it right there, it would not have actually placed down that grass block. That's basically what the void does. But yeah, this is super helpful. And you don't just do it more than once as well. And as you can see, the same bell we had before is still sitting there. And now we can destroy this block. And say if you want to go to another world and do another a different bell, it won't carry over. So you don't need to worry about naming stuff bell 1 and bell 2. Unless you have a 5 million different things in the same world. Now on Java Edition, it's a tiny bit different. Unfortunately, I don't have it, so I can't show it to you guys. But that was mainly everything for today's video. Just a few really cool things. And yeah. Also, I just realized I forgot to really... But yeah, so basically you can build the, the zip line here and it can go either way. But basically what happens is you have, have a door and the water doesn't pass through it. Then you go swimming and then when you walk like well not walk but when you go under the ladders it mainly just thinks you're still swimming on water you have to look up though because if you watch I just looked down a tiny bit then you have to look up a little bit so you have to be like that because as soon as you look down you fall that's it for today's video though thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day bye